This is a very easy question if we have memorized the right vocabulary. When they say that we have no solutions, and specifically when they say that about a linear system, this is literally just memorizing. No solutions means that if we graphed these lines in Desmos or whatever, we would have no intersection point between the two lines. So we could do that, but that's going to be time consuming. I don't have that kind of time. We're at 18. We're, we're the, the clock is ticking. So instead, we need to know what, what, why would two lines have no intersections? Why wouldn't they cross? That only happens when they're parallel. And lines are parallel when they have the same slope. And luckily, all of these equations are written in y equals mx plus b format. So we know that the slope is represented by the m term. So we're looking for a case where the m's are the same. And that happens in choice C because both of the slopes are 16. That's it. We need to double check the B's, right? We need to make sure that those are different because if we had the same B, then it would actually just be the same line and that would be infinitely many solutions that could come up on an SAT question. But luckily here, there's only one choice where they have the same slope. Choice B is wrong because the slopes are different. They have the same y-intercept, but that doesn't matter. That has no impact. All it just means is they intersect once at that point. Um, choice A is nothing. That's um, a perpendicular line. You have x equals 3, which is kind of a vertical up and down line, and y equals 5 is a horizontal line. So those are perpendicular, but they still intersect. They intersect one time and form a 90 degree angle. So that doesn't mean anything. And then D is not the same slope. It looks like it because those fives are lined up, but that's not a slope, right? There's no x term attached to that. So that y uh, equals 5 is really just saying that the y intercept is 5. So basically what that looks like is we'd have um, a y equals 5 is a, a horizontal line up here, and then y equals 5x plus 5. It's going to intersect at that point, and then it's going to go up, but there's nothing special about this system. It's just one intersection, which is the case for most lines. They mostly just have some random intersection point, um, and it's only when we talk about parallel lines, uh, infinitely many solutions, when they're the same line, or I guess technically perpendicular lines are kind of special, but also those only have one uh, solution as well. So the number of solutions for a linear system, there's very limited possibilities. You need to be familiar with those possibilities and what causes them. And so this question is actually like a 10 second question if you know the rule and how to translate no solutions into same slope.